Hi everyone, right, today uh, we're going to be playing around with something called masks in Flash uh, and the intention is eventually that uh, we're going to create a scene that uh, you can see in the background here um, and for the time being we're just going to put any old picture uh, in the background on the TV but eventually what I'd like to try and do is put a video there a video that you're going to record yourself hopefully it'll be of yourself uh, and you'll be able to put yourself into uh, that scene that you uh, that you can see now. Okay, so here's an uh, um, example of how it is working. If we um, we quickly try and run it, so you can see that's what it looks like. We've got um, uh, Pulp Fiction cast Jules and Verne sat inside the Simpsons TV. So that's what we're looking to create. Now we've got the timeline down here. You can see how it's all set up. Uh, there's only going to be four layers. We're only going to have one frame. Um, we've got the TV itself on this on this layer here. We've got the background, which I'll just rename that now. The background literally is the floor, the skirting board, the wall, the picture, um, and everything else. These two layers here, Pulp Fiction layer, that is the um, the picture that's on the TV, and then the screen. It's a bit of a difficult one to. to to see this one, if I just unhide that, you can see the screen is the outline there, um, almost like the glass of the TV screen, if you like. Um, that's what's in the middle there. So, what I'm going to do now is guide you through step by step of how to create uh, this particular scene. So, let's just bring up my folders and start one. So, this is what I've, I've collected. You're going to need um, to download a TV like this. So go do a Google image search and find a TV like that. You're going to need some sort of picture or image. You choose your favorite film, uh, download an image, um, and then we'll put that in there as well. And yeah, that should be enough to get us started. So let me just open up the one from earlier on. Okay, so here we are. Now, um, first things first, draw yourself a background. Um, if you're going to use the Simpsons TV, then you know draw yourself a, a scene similar to this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add um, the TV on its own layer. So the the like I said before, that should say background. And now we're going to add. We're going to lock. Make sure the background layer is locked. And then add yourself a TV layer layer. And then import TV to the stage. Okay, mine was a little bit big, so I'm going to need to resize it. Here we go, I'm going to reduce it down a little bit. and then I need it big enough so that um, it actually uh, is a decent size for the for the photos. Now, I want to get rid of that horrible white background, so uh, we do this on the Modify menu. Modify, Bitmap, Trace Bitmap, which you should have done, you should have done this before. I need to select the image first, that would help. Modify Bitmap, Trace Bitmap. Uh, 40 and 4 is about right because it's a cartoony image so it doesn't need a lot of quality um, once it's done that just deselect and then a bit at a time select the little white bits that are around the edge of the TV and we'll delete them so that it doesn't spoil our our image okay there we go all done right next that screen in the middle is clickable now that we've done a trace bitmap so we're going to take that screen and we're going to turn that into a symbol, a movie clip, and let's call it screen, and click OK. OK, now I'm going to cut that away from there, Control X to cut it. I'm going to add a new layer. I think I can probably lock the TV layer now. And I'm going to call this new layer screen. And this is where um, this, the screen is going to go back on this layer now. So if you hold down Control and Shift and then press V to paste, what Control, Shift and V does is it pastes it back in the same place as it pastes it back in the same place as as it was cut from. Okay, let me just go back. I just want to do a quick check of how I had the layer, so the TV was at the top, wasn't it? So let's move the TV at the top. Now, we need our photo, our picture from our scene. 
and the layer that that's going to go above background and below screen so it's going to go in there like that okay so let's go f import our picture to the stage and here it is open that but then the background again it's a bit too big i resized it but i obviously haven't resized it very well i don't want to make it too small i want it to fit um, I want it to look decent on the screen, but I obviously also don't want it to be um, too small. So that's all the layers set up now. The last thing to do um, to make uh, the mask, how a mask works, is it um, whatever object becomes the mask um, actually means that that is the only visible part of the image you are masking. So. If I show that here on the on the timeline, sorry, on the layers. If I right click on screen and choose mask, you see what we've got here now. We've got the screen is the mask, the pulp fiction image is the masked layer. So the mask and the masked layer. So the mask doesn't affect anything else other than the mask layer. And you can see the mask because you've got a slight indentation and two different symbols here. So whatever the, the screen, which is the mask, is sitting on top of the mask layer, that is the only part that you will see of that particular image. So that's why we only see that part of the Pulp Fiction photograph now. Okay, and that's it. That's how you make that's how you make a mask. So if we press Control and Enter, there you go, finished and ready to go. Now, what I'd like you to do. To finish this off, a couple of things. I'd like that button there to be an on-off switch. So turn that top button into an on-off switch. Secondly, I'd like that button there to change the channel. So if we change the channel and we move to a different picture, so you can go to um, picture two, picture three, picture four. So quite literally, that could just be a next frame button. So what you've got here on frame number two is a picture of another TV uh, screen. So you could put uh, anything in the end of the film you like, or a, a TV series, uh, it's entirely up to you. And to build it up, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, you know, five different images, um, which this button here will take you to. And this one here switches off the TV. So it should put a black screen there instead of a picture. Okay, well that's useful. Let's. Uh, just right at the end of my video but anyway I'm done